You haven't talked much that I know of publicly about this part of your life. I don't know how much I'm going to get out of you because you've been pretty tight-lipped, at least publicly about it, right? You worked for Mr. Beast for over a year, I want to say, uh, and you stopped uploading at all. He, th Their team, like as part of being on their team, you can't like be uploading on your channel or whatever, at least at the time. So that's that's what happened. And you're obviously a student of the game. You know, you've, you've had all the success on YouTube. You're, you're like a savant when it comes to making these channels, right? I am the Hollow, best, man. Hollow being say? the most recent example, the, the channel that you just bought. And so we got Mr. <laughs> we got what? Mr. Beast. We got Mr. Beast. No one believes me. What the <laughs> fuck? I want to start out with like, what was it like? <laughs> yeah, it was good, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, I actually messaged Jimmy and I was like, um, can I make a video? talking about what it was like working there or like what I did. He kind of was just like, I'd rather probably not, you know, cause like a lot of what we do, we would try to keep under wraps. Yep. So, so you were like, like can I, I go I on Clash with Ash and stare everything instead? Yeah, and he yeah, was like, yeah, so sure. someone yeah. else's channel, yeah. then it's all good. I like that. I like um, that approach and I can respect that from him. Yeah. So <laughs> here's the biggest secret Jimmy told me. No, I guess what I can say is the way I got the job was I my I, I saw he put like a Twitter post up basically saying something like, we're looking for new people, fill out this form if you want to. So I filled out the form and I expected nothing, right? It's Mr. Beast tweeting. You fill out his form, you get nothing back. That's standard. And then one of his Discord uh, admins, like on the Mr. Beast gaming server, Mr. Beast gaming was just popping off at this time, just starting to get traction. Uh, one of the Mr. Beast gaming moderators like replied saying, hey, we liked your application. And I think the reason my application stood out is because I just hit 100K on my YouTube channel, KFC Clash. And that was kind of like my resume of my content for him. And so after that, they um, they gave me a, a uh, I think, a, an interview to see if I would even be fit, like the, the gaming team, basically. And then after that, um, they gave me this like quiz, this like test I had to do. I remember on, like, this. My knowledge yeah, yeah, on YouTube yeah. or whatever. So I, I filled that out and I was just, I was like overthinking. I didn't realize like how much I knew in comparison to the rest of like the world at this point. I'm the best, by the way. Have I mentioned that? And so I fucking, I filled this out and yeah, they liked it. So I got a final interview. And then I remember one day I, um, I like checked my, my discords and they're like, we would like to go forwards with like a 60 to 90 day trial period. And I was like, yes. And then that, like, I remember I was so happy. There's like a few moments in my life where I'm like, I've just been so happy. Yeah, I think one of them was getting my driver's license. Another one was getting the job at Mr. Beast. And um, they're really special. And so, yeah. And then it went great from there. And I just got promoted like a ton in the company to obviously being um, able to talk to Jimmy a lot. Um, I, I won't say exactly what I did, but yeah, it yeah. was it was great. Um, so, the time I spent, I can't, I can't complain. I, um, did you learn a lot? Um, yeah, I did learn a lot. Um, I mean, I obviously knew a lot going into it. That's why I got into the position, but I definitely learned a lot of things. Yeah. I would be wrong to say I didn't. Sure. Yeah. Were you surprised at how much work and thought and energy and whatever it may be collaboration that goes into every single video there? Well, you can kind of see how much work, but yeah. I remember like for the main channel videos, like even to get like a crane for something, you know, they have to call this guy who calls this guy to get it sorted. Like there's a lot of phone calls, getting the props, the resources. There's so many layers and layers. It just sounds like an absolute hassle. And that really struck out to me. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously he gets like hated for the most bizarre reasons on the internet because it's the internet, We don't know right? it's stupid. We yeah, don't know it's it, stupid. But like, do you think that gets to him? Like it, knowing him personally, do you think that like, you know, I'm sure everything's different, right? Every situation nah. is different, but does he seem like nah, someone nah. who just lets it roll off? Look, I don't really, I'm not going to act like I'm his best friend. No, but I know, but like, like yeah. I do not message him at all anymore, but yeah. um, no, he's, well, he, the, that wouldn't get to him. No. Got you. I mean, the, the most obvious question here is why did you decide to leave Mr. Beast? I mean, that would be a, to your point, it was one of the happiest moments of your life uh when you got the job and yeah i just yeah i, I just um and it's mr Beast. i want to be a youtuber myself man <laughs> yeah, yeah. a lot of people's favorite job would be doing what i was doing and there were people there that are still there um and i i definitely know i could have been like amazing there but i would always be like just that guy at mr beast you know i want to be my own thing you know what i mean yeah. i only get to live once follow your dreams kids you only get to live once you heard it from me first ash back me <laughs> up i i heard that's true but like dude you're you're really <laughs> humble and you're really modest uh and people don't realize that best. because 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 <laughs> of your you know because of your layer of of uh whatever the heck humor right people don't know this about you but like dude i know from talking to you throughout the years 
that you don't t you didn't talk about like you b people barely even knew that you worked for Mr. Beast, right? But like there were other people who worked for Mr. Beast that were tweeting about it like almost constantly or whatever, or like talking about it a lot, you know. And you were you just never were about that. You never were like about the cloud game at all in that regard. You were almost like the opposite of that. And the same thing goes for money. Like money and fame to me doesn't seem like it's ever been a massive motivator for you. Success is, but not necessarily money and fame. So, you know, even even like deals at the agency, I think I can hopefully say this, <laughs> but like you pass on a lot of paid opportunity. You could be making a lot more, let me just say, than you are right now, right? <laughs> a lot more. I don't think right? I've accepted one. I just uh, don't like it, man. I, I just don't like, I probably, I'll probably just like, in hindsight, like people look back on this and be like, wow, Ken, Ken turned into such a scumbag. I miss the old Ken, the humble Ken. <laughs> but I have like, I don't know, I just don't like doing them. I don't think people like watching them and I don't feel the need to do it. Like, I don't know. I'm not very driven by money. 